man, that internet place we went into was so amazing. Yeah, it was, too. It's early in the morning. Wow, we played all night long. How's Blue? <laughs> He's asleep in the trailer. <laughs> he, he, he couldn't take it, could he? No. I think he actually got bored with playing Candy Crush. Yeah. Yeah, he, it's amazing how good he is at the Fortnite game. Yeah, what happened? What was the problem with the zombies? I don't know. I don't think he likes them zombies at all, Hope. Well, he's just a young bird. Yeah. Well, I think we better wake him up anyway and just get him going here. All right, well, I'll go out and get him. Okay, Smalls, you get him. Blue. Hey, Blue. Blue, it's time to get going, okay? Oh, hey, Smalls. What? You been awake? Yeah, I've been awake for a little while. I was just laying here. What was you doing? Well, when we drove into that town that night and we waited around, why did they have all them lights and stuff up all over the whole town? And the windows are all like, they got red ribbons and stuff and boxes that they got paper on them it's all different colors with things on it and it says something and and who is the big guy in the window with the red suit on and the white beard oh dude that's santa claus who that's santa claus you know santa claus i don't know who this santa claus is Oh, man, you don't know who Santa Claus is. Oh, Santa Claus, he part of Christmas. What's Christmas? Well, don't you remember when we were asking you, like, trying to figure out how old you were? We asked you how many Christmas trees you had seen, and you said you saw six? Mm, yeah. I think I said four. Yeah, well, okay, whatever you said... Well, that comes every year, Christmas, one time a year. It comes every year at the same time every year, like during the winter time, after the Thanksgiving, the Turkey Day. What's a Turkey Day? Oh, we we did the Turkey Day this last week. We've been over here though, <laughs> in the Poconos. We don't do the Turkey thing. Why not? Well, because actually the Turkey thing. Well, turkeys are birds. You know, so we kind of like. We don't like to celebrate the turkeys getting eaten. Who eats the turkeys? Oh, no, no, no. Hey, Blue, don't worry about this anymore. Well, I just wanted to know. Okay, so let's get down to business on the Santa Claus thing. So, the Santa Claus story is amazing. It's very cool. Are you ready for this? I'm going to play a little preview. of Santa Claus. Informed sources report legions of junior citizens are making monumental efforts not to cry and not to bow. Meanwhile, letters by the thousands have been flooding... They made a movie about this? Yeah, right here it is. Hey, <laughs> that's funny. Well, hello there. Uh, my name's Special Delivery Clerk, S.E. Why does this guy look so strange, Smalls? Eh, don't worry about it. It's old school animation. Some ask for toys, but a lot ask questions. Why you take this one? Well, I have questions, Smalls. Yeah, why wear a red suit? Yeah, why does he wear a red suit, Smalls? Come on, Smalls, why does he wear a red suit? I don't know, he just does. Come on. We'll go get with everybody else, and maybe everybody else can kind of help you understand what this Christmas thing's about. Okay, let's go up there. Hey, guys. Blue wants to know what all the decorations are and who the big red man is in the window. <laughs> he does? <laughs> you don't know who did it is, Blue? Uh, Small says it's Santa Claus. <laughs> That's exactly who it is. It's Santa Claus, man. And Santa Claus is coming to town. What exactly does that mean? Oh, man. Come on. You got to know this story. This is the best story of the year. Dear Santa, why do 
come down the chimney when I'm asleep. How about these? Why do you have whiskers? Why do you live at the North Pole? Why do you leave presents and Why do you always come up? Why is your What do you mean you leave here? presents Why under the tree? Why? 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 Now hold on, hold on. I can answer all your questions because I know everything about Santa. Hey, this guy seems to know more than you guys do. He has no time to wait. He's got millions and millions of stuff to fill on Christmas Day. So you better write your letter now. And mail it. I didn't write a letter. Because he's getting ready with his reindeers and his sleigh. So you better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. All right, so, so let me see here. The guy in the big red suit, his name is Santa Claus. And he puts a present under the tree. That's what this is all about. Yeah, that's what it's all about, man. But now, wait a minute here. There's more to this story than me and I hear, Blue. Listen, you don't know what Santa Claus is? Hey, guys, Blue is not a very old bird. He just thought he had seen a bunch of Christmases because... The house he lived in had so many Christmas trees. Oh, yeah. Yo, he doesn't know. Hey, Blue, listen. Let me tell you some stories about our Christmases, okay? Are you ready? Here, sit down right here in the car. Hope, let's take off and get moving towards New York City. Because we got to get there pretty soon. We only have like a few weeks here and then it's going to be Christmas time. All right, let's go, man. Are we ready? Yeah, let's do this, okay? All right, so here's how it goes, man. It's like, just one Christmas, we were like trying to get out to Utah. And so, so you know, Christmas is about the spirit of giving. And, you know, everybody loves Santa Claus because what the Santa Claus thing is, he brings a cool presents and stuff, like things you never thought you would ever get. Like, maybe like the coolest skateboard wheels you ever saw. Or like a cool hoodie, you know, with, with some kind of name on it or something you like. And, you know, he brings you crazy socks and pajamas. And just all kinds of fun, cool stuff, you know. And it makes you feel cozy and good during the winter time, you know. He may even bring you some boots or something. He could even bring us a new Ferrari if you wanted to. He could give us anything he wanted. What do you mean, Holly? What do I mean to say? Is it once a year, Santa Claus, to make children have a great Christmas, a Christmas day, which is about something else other than just getting a present. But for right now, we're just going to focus on Santa Claus. And we'll get the rest of this out before Christmas gets here, and you're going to know everything about it. Okay, I'm all ears, man. Okay, tell Hope, Hope, you tell him about what we did at Christmas time. Okay. So, we were flying out to Utah. Oh, listen. You mean Santa was once a baby? Of course. Everybody's got to be a baby. At least once. Santa was a baby? Now, this was years and years ago. Oh, hmm. way back. How long did he been around? Like, as long as me? No, boo, this guy goes way back, man. I mean, I'm talking about, like, way back. Yeah, way back there in time. All right, so, anyway, we had gone to Utah. We had had a heck of a time getting out there. We ended up in Hawaii. We didn't, what is Hawaii? Oh, we ended up on a ship in the ocean in California that took us to Hawaii. And then we had to fly back. And we had in another boat. And we ended up in Mexico. Well, we were never going to make it to see the boy at Christmas. Do I know who the boy is? No, you've not met the boy yet. Well, who is the boy? Well, he's the little boy that made sure we got born. What do you mean? Well, he told his dad before he got there one summer that he wanted his dad to put the nest on the cage to where they're baby birds. And we were born when he was here. No. Is this a true story? 
If Hope tells a story, it's true. Yeah, because Hope, he's not messing around at home with stories. All right. So that's how we were born. That's who the boy is. Well, the boy is the man's son. And and he lived there for a long time. And then, and then he moved to Utah away. So he's out there now. So we were going to go out there and see him. Because we really missed him a lot. So we were going to Utah. Well... Here's what happened. Santa Claus has a sleigh with reindeer that pull it. And we'll show you what those reindeers look like and everything. But the sleigh flies in the sky. And Santa Claus, he gets going from house to house to house. And he has a magic bag that he reaches into it and he pulls out presents. Presents that he wants the boys and girls to have. He gives presents to kids for free. Oh, yes, he does. Santa Claus is the greatest human being I've ever heard of in my entire life. Oh, he, he, this is pretty cool stuff, I gotta tell you. So hang on. We did not think we were going to make it, man. I mean, we didn't know how to get there. We knew we were far away because we were like in Mexico. Santa showed up. Yes, he did. And you know what he did? He put us in his sleigh. He did. Yes, he did too, man. Yeah, he did. And he flew us to Utah to where the boy lived. You flew in his sleigh in the sky? Yeah, yeah. It's not like how we fly. Right, Hope? Oh, yes. Santa say is very, very fast. Very, very magical. It's almost as if it was teleporting us. You guys got teleported. We are kind of like being teleported. Well, anyway, we made it to Utah. We made it in time to sit in the boy's Christmas tree. And we got to see him open presents and bouncing around the house. And he was just so very, very happy. He was just happy because it's Christmas time. And and then and then that was the year I think that the man came out there and got him too. Well, we had to get all the way back. By then, Santa Claus was gone and he couldn't get us back. We could figure out how to get back on our own. We rode on an R V and got all the way back to Ohio here. Is this a true story? Oh yeah, it's true. It really happened, man. And you know what? When we were going to all these places, we went to all these skate parks and stuff where these birds were at, who birds had been building them. And some of the birds didn't even have own skateboards or scooters or bikes. And you know what we did for Christmas? I don't know. What did you do? We had the sparrows deliver hundreds and thousands of skateboards scooters and bicycles all over the world to give to kids. You know, birds. You gave them your skateboard and your scooter and your bike? Yes, we did. We did. Because they were skateboarding on things that weren't good and we wanted them to have good stuff like we have because we have good stuff. Yeah, I love my scooter and I love my skateboard almost as much as anything in the whole world. Well, we were trying to make happiness. And that's what Santa does. He brings happiness. Wow, Hope. That's an amazing story. And you guys flew in his day? Did you see him put toys in the house? No, he just went like, zoom. We were gone. We were in Utah. We were at the boy's house. That's all there was to it, man. It was just like that fast. Wow, that's crazy. Well, anyway, that's what happens every year. And, and so Santa Claus, he's that cool. So, I mean, like, kids all over the world, you know, they just, Santa likes you to be good boys and girls and stuff, you know? And it's just amazing what he does. And this goes on every stinking year. So, the decorations, are everybody getting ready for Christmas? 
and the Santa Claus in the window is kind of like to say, hey, you better watch out, you better not pout, you better not cry. That's what that's about, man. Because, I mean, he's going to come, you know, and he's going to, like, if you're a rotten bird, you know, he's not going to bring you nothing, man. You're not going to get a thing from Santa. No, you won't, man. That's why every time he gets close to Christmas, he's got to be kind of good. But I think we're pretty good all the time. We are. We're very good birds. We don't match with nobody. We don't do nothing. We always pay for our stuff at Walmart. We're really good birds. So this year, Santa going to come and see us. Does that mean we get to go to Utah? Uh, yeah, because I hear that this year, the boy is not coming here. He's not coming here? Nope, he's not coming here. The dad is going to go to the Utah. And out there, he's going to see him there. We got to go to Utah. I want to see this boy. I want to see what this boy looks like. Yeah, yeah, well, we'll go. But I'm just telling you, man, the Santa Claus dude. Comet and Cupid. Yeah, see, he got these reindeers, man. And don't forget. Yeah. Who's Rudolph? <laughs> Rudolph is the funkiest room. He's a reindeer with red nose. <laughs> Why you got the red nose? Does he have a cold? No, he doesn't have a cold. He's got a red nose. It lights up and they use him to, so they can see where they're going with the say. There's really a lot to this Christmas stuff, isn't there, guys? Oh, you can't believe how much stuff there is to this whole Christmas thing. I mean, this Christmas story, it can go on and on and on. So, like, on our way to New York, we'll just talk about it. All right, well, let's go, man. By the way, can we go to Bob Evans? Sure, we can go to Bob Evans again. We'll just call and order it. You want pancakes again? You can get it all over your your feathers. So, tell me more about these presents that Santa Claus brings. I'm a little bit concerned. Well, what are you concerned about? Well, I don't think I know Santa Claus. I don't think Santa Claus knows me. How would you know what I wanted? Well, what do you want? Oh, I don't want anything. Exactly. You're fine. Because you, you're already happy. You don't need anything to be happy from Santa Claus. But what if you was a kid who didn't have anything at all? Maybe, maybe your parents weren't very good at doing things and taking care of you and stuff. And maybe you just didn't have nothing. That's a different movie. That's the Polar Express. Yeah, the Polar Express is cool, too. You know, maybe when we get back to Ohio, we'll let you watch the Polar Express. Why is that? Well, it's, it's a movie with the kids who get on the train, and they go to the North Pole where the Santa Claus is, and they get to see the Santa Claus. There are that many movies? Oh, man, you just wait. I'm going to tell you what. People will be going like Christmas crazy from now until Christmas, man. It's a big time. It's a great time to get together with family and do things and see people you love and be light of heart. What does that mean? It means not worried and stressed about all of life's problems. Oh. I'm only worried and stressed about zombies in Fortnite. Yeah, we know. <laughs> yeah, you proved that for sure, didn't you? Yes, I did. I'm not playing that anymore. By the way, Hope, when we get back to Ohio, do you think you could show us some tips? Tips on what? How to play Fortnite. Uh, no, I'm afraid I'm not going to do that. Why not? Uh, I am so afraid of zombies. Then when I see them, it makes me crap. What? Yeah, didn't you notice when the zombie showed up the other day? I crapped. You're a parakeet. Parakeets crap all the time. That's what we do. No, no. I'm telling you, I crapped. No. Like that. Yes, I did. And it's all because I saw a zombie and I got scared. And I was afraid. I was afraid for my life. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Guy, don't laugh at Blue. Remember, he's just a young bird. Yeah, okay, okay. Well, listen. Hey, guys. Will Santa Claus come to my cage? 
Oh, <laughs> dude, yeah. He may come to the cage. He may come to the house. He might even show up and hang out with us. We don't know. We might even be in the house when he shows up and we can talk to him again. Because we got to talk to him before. Oh, oh yeah, there's one thing we got to warn you about in our house. There is two elves. What? Yeah, these little elf dudes, man. What is the elf dude? Oh, hey, wait till you see these dudes in action, man. You think you see some stuff going on? You wait till you see these guys. These two guys are crazy. The little tiny one's named Adrian. You know what he does? He eats everything. He eats the cookies. He eats anything. He's got sugar on it, man. He, there was a cake. Not a cake. Uh, what was that thing they had? Hope? Uh, that was the gingerbread house. There was a gingerbread house there. Nice little house made down the gingerbread. Real Christmassy. Festive. Look cool and everything else. You know what he did? Well, he tacked it. He tried to eat the whole thing. He just a little piggy guy. <laughs> He tried to eat the house? Yes, he did. Didn't he, Smalls? Yes, he did. And he had it all over him. And he just kept chomping and chomping. And then the other one, Joseph, he's much, much bigger. And he has red on like Santa Claus and a hat. He just sits and looks in one direction the whole day. And then when you're not looking, all of a sudden, he'll be sitting over there in the other room. He's a crazy thing. We can't figure it out. We try to see him moving. We seen him run one time, and that was it. Smalls, you're awfully excited. Oh, and I got to tell you what, guy, that, that guy's a little bit crazy because he just, like, he swings on ropes and everything. And when the Christmas tree's out, look out, man. He is all over the Christmas tree. He goes up the tree, down the tree, around the tree, over to the side. He is just, like, on the tree. And Adrian, he just keeps trying to find stuff to eat the whole time. It is just about more than anybody can handle. Wow. I did not know this about this. I think we should try to go back to Ohio now. I don't want to go to New York City. I want to go see the Santa Claus. Oh, I've done time for the Santa Claus yet. He's coming. We got plenty of time, man. Well, you said there's elves in the house. Oh, yeah, they're definitely in the house, man. Once it gets close to Christmas time, them elves are out. Is there a possibility that one of them elves might not be friendly? Oh, no, 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 no. You're wrong here. The elves are super friendly. But Joseph is super mischievous. He is what? Mischievous. I don't know what that means. Well, it means he likes to get into stuff and do things. So, no. Oh, they do like to watch TV, and they do like to watch, and they like to play with the Xbox. Wow. <laughs> I cannot wait to meet this guy. I really want to meet this guy. I'm excited to go back to Ohio now. <laughs> Don't worry, ma'am. We'll get back there. Hey, Hope, how far do we have to go to New York? Well, we're getting ready to go to New Jersey right now. And we go to New Jersey, and then we'll be in New York. Is there a Bob Evans coming up pretty soon so Blue can get something to eat? Because I'm kind of hungry, too. Yeah, there's a Bob Evans coming up pretty soon. We'll get there and then we'll order. And then we'll just eat. Okay, cool. All right, guys. And then, you know what, Blue? We'll keep telling you about Christmas and stuff like that on our way. And and then by the time we get back home, you're going to know pretty much about Christmas. Nice. I'm ready. All right, guys. Let's get going. All right. We'll see you later, everybody. Bye-bye.